Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Far Loan Sales. When we last left off, we had just... Uh, oh, dear. Uh, we had just been... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was a waste. We are... We're locked in place here. But when we last left off, we were exploring... Okay, I see. Gotta, gotta pull this out here a little. Got We got stuck in the mud. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Let's also grab ourselves a little mystery box here, which, excuse me, may or may not contain some fuel. Well, we already have one of these boxes, so you know what? Maybe we want to... Maybe we want to burn this box. Then again, maybe not. Also, I knew sooner or later we were going to have to do something with this big shiny button over here in the corner. All right, so we are going to get pulled out of the mud and into the uh, soft, safe, succulent embrace of dry land. Which is, you know, good. Whoever built this ship thought of everything. I mean, if we built this ship, then we're like some kind of like child prodigy genius. And so I'm pretty sure we're some kind of child. Though maybe we're not. I, I couldn't tell you 100% for certain either way, really. All right, I think that's I think that's got it. Uh, just hop out here and grab this like big thing of uh, highly explosive gas that's totally not gonna like blow up in our face. All right, there we go. Oh no, don't don't sink back into the into the mud, please. See, this is when a second hand pair of hands would really come in handy because then you know we'd have that extra pair of hands to help uh, drag us out. Or, like, to, you know, start the engine so we don't start backpedaling into the mud. But it looks like we're okay so far. I mean, that's good. Uh, speaking of good, our our engine is looking a little less good. So let's, uh, let's patch it up here while we're, while we're at it. There we go. It's all patched up. Looking nice. Looking sexy. Looking sleek. And, all right. We made it out of that little mud hole. And... We're generally feeling pretty good about that, so that's good. At least another burst of steam as we uh, chuck some more stuff into the to the fuel anomicon here, as I call it for some reason. Part of me wants to turn that Hoover thing back. Up. Oh god, a little bit of mud again. Always a little dangerous and scary, but not too dangerous and scary. All right, there we go. I'm gonna laugh if, like, the end is, like, literally, like, two minutes into this episode. That'd be funny. For me, personally. I mean, if it was, I would just, uh, you know, just append it to the end. But I think we've got a little bit of a journey still to go, don't we? So, we should not... Did I just hear a voice? Or am I, am I crazy? Well, there goes all our... No, I'm definitely hearing something. I think that's just the radio, though. Nothing... Oh, it's someone on the radio. Wish we had more hooks. I want to hang more stuff here. And I don't want to burn... I want to keep burning books, but uh, those books are, like, hanging conveniently close. Like, just... just fragments of voices. So I can't quite tell what... what story these folks are, uh... trying to say here. I don't think it's English either that they are speaking in. We have we've come so far. We are like, actually, let's go underground first because there is a door here. Oh, I mean, I guess it would have been fine either way. All right. Yeah, okay, we got some more boxes. What else? What else do we got here? Okay, some more. Again, still more boxes. And mystery. That's the everything we have. We have boxes and mystery. Mystery boxes, you might say. Well, if there were actually, you know. All right, let's, uh... Yeah. Power up the old fuel cell here. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Is that, is that like, how many times we've fueled things up? Interesting. Or maybe it was just the radio. We sat there long enough and it finally said 42. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. 
I will, I'll laugh if I- Oh, oh, it's another- Another little, uh, stroller thingy there. Something up here. What is this? Some kind of, like, oil refinery? I think so. That's what I would assume it was. It's what it looks like. Also, when I think about it, I don't even think there was, like, a... Like a way for us to bring our ship through here, so this might be... This might actually be near the end game after all. Interesting. Very interesting. What is this? We build our future. Alright, it's showing like a big crawly ship thingy. Not a ship with legs. We, we saw something like that earlier. Back in like the workshop, I believe it was. Are we gonna have like some kind of giant like spider ship that's like... It's like a parasitic cannibal thing that just comes after... Comes after other ships like our own. That would be scary. I also, that's probably not what happens, but if it was, that'd be a hell of a thing. All right. Okay. We are, okay, here it comes. Okay, where are we going now? I think I'm gonna zoom in, but I might wanna zoom out just to really see what's going on here. But then again, it feels a bit more intimate zooming in like this. And there's that factory. We build our future on the backs of others. What, what that one missing square says probably, you know, it'd be in like real fine print. Okay. We. Oh God. Oh right, I forgot I have this like floating power. Okay, jokily. Ooh, I'm hearing something rumbling. Ooh, well, that's cool. All right, so we can uh, we can get going again. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Progress. Full steam ahead, my boyos. And girlos. Girlos, really? And that's what I'm going with, apparently. Anyway, yeah. All right. So I assume that must have opened the way for us to like really, really power on through this hero. Which is exactly what we want, I guess. Are we gonna be able to make it through all this? Like, are we just gonna? Oh yeah, we're just gonna. This is a beast machine that we've got here. Much like the TV show, Beast Machines. That was interesting. I remember that. Beast Wars, Beast Machines. Man, that was like my childhood right there. Well, parts of my childhood anyway. All right, what is this? What's the radio trying to tell me? Like, it's like laughing, constant laughing. Something's going on out there, man. I don't know if I should, if I like it. But then again, maybe I do like it. Who knows? I certainly don't. I don't know a lot of things, really. Okay, um... Oh, shite! Oh god, we're on fire. We're on fire! Oh dear. And... Stuff got thrown around. Alrighty then. Alrighty daddy, we are up and at him again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I like that. I like where this is going. We're now like a fairy service. This is cool, I love this. The whole game is just awesome. I mean like just how beautiful it is and like the aesthetic and like the whole very kind of like steampunky-ish. I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna be sad when it ends. But all stories end sooner or later. As sad as that is. But hopefully this one won't be ending for a while yet. Is that a chair? I saw a chair or something in the background. Also, I can't help but notice that the radio is no longer making radio sounds, so that's... possibly concerning. Gotta say though, the engineering here. This is cool. I've got to say, this kid is a beast to be able to 
like run and turn this water wheel and get this thing running. Man, that is crazy. Whoever we're playing as, like they are like an Olympian level person, possibly beyond Olympian. Like just like, that's crazy, dog. I wonder if you could feasibly even run a ship like by like man-powered water wheel. Probably. I, I, you know what? I bet you could. There's a lot of stuff that you can do, and I'm willing to assume that this would be one of them. Like, maybe not while having, like, something like this. But then again, does the weight really matter? Like, well, the answer to that question is probably yes, actually, but... Let me dream, damn it! Let me dream that this could feasibly happen in real life. Well, not real, real life, but, you know, life in general. Actually, also wondering, is there even a point in not having the Hoover Tron Hoover? Also, is... Oh, right, I forgot about you. Little boxy thing. Alright. Yeah, there's like... There's something under that. Or is that just part of the ship again? Or is that a little toy? A little toy left behind. It looks kind of like... Is that a bear? That is a bear. I'm keeping that. Like, it's in keeping with the whole idea that we're, like, basically playing as, like, a young child here. Out on their own. I think it's missing a leg, but, you know, who cares? One leg bears need love, too, dammit. Alright, there's a soda can of some sort. I mean, I suppose if I just kept the Hoover Tron on, we would be, like, pretty much set and we wouldn't need to worry about anything. But, uh, I, I can't help but feel like the Hoover Tron uses power. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to use power I don't have to, I guess, is what I'm, where I'm going with this. But then again, I guess that's kind of silly, because we have, if we absolutely had to throw away some of our, our junk that we are accumulating here, would it really be such a bad thing? The answer is probably not. But I, I am attached to my junk, and I would like to hold on to it in the off chance that it actually comes in handy someday. Which it might, but probably- ooh, what's this? Yay! Yeah, we took a bit of damage there. Let's just, uh, patch that up. There we go. Beautiful. I mean, that probably also increases, like, the fuel efficiency anyway, so... It's good. Alright, so then we just hop on over this. Fly down. Press the button. I like pressing buttons, you see. Button pressing is good. Also, I see those fuel cans back there. You know what? I'm just gonna hoover those up. I also don't know why I've taken to using the word hoover. It's a very, like, British-y, UK kind of thing. Alright. Okay. I can't- I can't even reach those buttons. Okay. Ooh. What's this button do? I can't, I can't, I can't press that button. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alrighty then. Oh, killy dokily. Ooh, we're taking the wheels off, which are cracked and broken. And they just kind of roll away. No, no, that, that's how we, that's how we got in this, this shindig. All right, I see, I see, and then we we boop it back up, and we get the new wheels. All righty then. Man, we are lucky that, like, whoever built this ship, like, it's to the specifications of like, whatever this factory is here. I guess everyone, everyone back in the brief time before everyone died, you know, they had cool ships like this. Hmm, that's sexy. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's some sexy, sexy wheels right there. Which look different and possibly better than our own wheels that we have. Where does this take us? Probably just back down, if I were to guess. Exactly, exactly. Alright, yeah, pimp my ride indeed. Alright, let's get the old Hoover Tron back alive here. Oop. All right, we'll uh, chuck you in. I mean, it's it's just efficient that way, isn't it? All right, yeah, we get the old Hoovermatic going. Yeah. 
I mean, it uses a bit... I think it uses up our, our energy here. So, I mean, there might... It might be a bit of a waste. But then again, at the speed we're going... Oh my. Looking kind of... Kind of dreary down here now, isn't it? Also, I should keep an eye open to see if we get any, uh... Any wind. Because then we can, uh, save our, our fuel. And save the planet. Save the planet, save the world, dog. I mean, that's, that's the important thing, isn't it? We don't want the world to die. You know, because it's like the only world we've got. Alright, more Hoover action is happening here. Alright, we got ourselves a ball. Oh, I even took a lantern with us this time. Alright. Oh. Too high. Went too high there. Also too high again. Alright, this can set stuff on fire, so we might not want to... We might not want to rely on it. Oh dear. Yeah, get that, get that steam engine going. Alright. Yeah. And if nothing else, we're vacuuming the great outdoors. Another good reason to vacuum stuff. Though it looks like the wind might be picking up. Oh, sweet merciful baby Jesus. Full steam ahead. Okay. Alright, let's, uh... If there's anything in there. Actually, I want to get a bit of a, a view of this. Does it look like the power is actually draining while, uh... While that vacuum is on? I'm actually, you know what, now I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely convinced it is. Maybe it is, though. Aha! There we go. A vast me hearties, yo ho! Now we're, now we're really sailing, properly sailing, sailing the way God intended, on the ocean with wind. But I do kind of wonder what we're doing with these like big holes in our sails here. I mean, we're totally gonna pimp our sails soon, right? Oh yeah, this vacuum doesn't actually seem to be. Doesn't seem to be using up any any of our fuel. Or if it is, it's doing so very, very slowly. I mean, it's kind of silly to have it on now, I guess, but... I guess there's no reason why we have to turn it off. So, yeah. Let's just appreciate the, the ambiance again for a little bit. Indeed, this is the world our fathers have left us, isn't it? And possibly the one we shall leave to- Oh, good God! To our children. You know, if we, uh... If we don't take better care of our planet or whatnot. I mean, you know, the planet is... Kind of important, I should think. Not that I- not that I'm necessarily, like, trying to imply there's, like, a... No, like a global warming slash climate change kind of story being told here. But I'm saying there could be. Also, you know what? I just noticed the, the level of power is ever so slightly going down. So maybe I should turn off the vacuum. I mean, we're sucking up water. That's probably not good. Oh, we've got a lantern. Lanterns are useful. Especially if they're green. Oh. Alright, we probably also don't want to stop here. God, though, the music in this game is just beautiful. I love it. I love it a lot. Alright, so what are we coming up on over here? Something. Land. We're pretty lucky we're not getting stuck, because, you know, that happened last time when we were on water like this. This muddy, rusty-colored water. Very dark and ominous, truly. Alright, what are we coming up upon? 
upon here. I mean, in like some metallic parts of some kind that look like they might have moved at one point. This is like a factory? Or maybe this is one of those like crawling ships that I've been hearing so much about. In fact, I think that's exactly what it is. Ha! Looks like your crawling ships were no match for my wind-powered like steam engine train thing. Oh, and look, it's got like the same logo as that company in the factory we saw earlier. Also, there is some fuel coming up, so get the old Hoover Tron going. Quickly now. Actually, is, has the wind has the wind uh, failed us? It appears to have, or has it? No, the wind has not failed us. We have failed the wind. Or yeah, the wind is blowing against us. Never mind. Oh, and this is where we have to stop anyway. All right. I'll uh, I'll burn this can here. Okay, so, moving on. All right. So it looks like we've been stopped yet again. And what is this? What is this? Some kind of piece of, uh, it's another piece of luggage. It's red though. So it's possibly a very important luggage. It's VIP luggage. In fact, there's some posters or something over there. Is there anything we can do to get this, uh, stuff out of our way? Or is this, is this it? Walking alone on these lonely, lonely fields here. Oh, no, that's the end. That's the end. We can't go any farther. It's like an invisible wall. All right. It means we've got to figure something out here. But what? Unless we're supposed to go backwards now. It's possible. Perhaps even... Plausible. Come on. Come on. Oh, nope. Can't do it. Doesn't go any farther. All right. So what? What are we doing? What are we doing now? I wonder to myself. I mean, surely we don't just go backwards. That would be silly. Uh, that looks like we'll drown. <laughs> All right, so what must we figure out here? Question. All I know is we've got this luggage. Do we burn the luggage? Does that even make sense? Why would I burn the luggage? This is like my parents' luggage, possibly. I mean, that can't be it, can it? Come on, let's uh, let's power on through this thing. I mean, 1851 is more or less where we've reached with this. All right. Yeah, bitches! Take that! All right. All right, so that invisible wall is to make sure that we didn't get, like, too stuck. Where did my luggage go? Oh, right. We're, we're not burning our luggage. That's our luggage. We just needed to... We just needed to pick up a little bit of steam. Totally reasonable. Also, let's uh, get this off the burning rack. Storms are coming. Music's getting kind of ominous. Don't know if we like the sound of this. Oh, and also we need to do some basic repairs here. Well, maybe more than more than basic, really. Oh no, the Hoover Tron! Quick, quick, Hoover it up! We missed it. Wait. Wait, stop, stop, stop the presses. Oh god, it's all on fire. It's all on fire. It's all coming apart. No, no, stop, stop. Okay, 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 we gotta... I understand now. Quick! Quick, pull it back. Get it under the shelter. It's our only hope. Oh lordy baby. I'm so sorry, girl. I didn't mean to treat you so badly. Oh god. Oh, that's not good. It's all... It's all... The dream is over, man. 
The dream is over. I mean, I have to assume this is what we're intended to do. We gotta ride out the storm, baby. All right, let's uh, let's put out the fu oh, good god. Wait, wait, wait! Put on the lock. Put on the brakes. Put on the brakes. Okay. It's all on fire. Every single system is broken, basically. Ah! No, don't put me in the engine. That would be generally bad for all concerned. Oh, oh, no, get, get back up. Okay. Okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. We can make it better. Okay. All right. Whoa, 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 no, 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 don't, don't get that way. All right. Oh. Okay. Repair all the things. As best we possibly can. Oh, lordy. All right. It's it's simple. We just we repair everything and then we get the heck out of here. We'll be fine. We'll be perfectly fine. Also, I should probably turn off the Hoovertron. Okay. And we just repair the solar sail even though there is no solar power involved with it whatsoever. And then we'll be good. It'll be fine. Everything is good. This is this is it's a temporary setback, that's all. Okay. There we go. All right. The ship has been repaired. Also, I guess this luggage isn't special after all. Or is it? I'll throw it in with the rest of the garbage. All right, what else have we got here? Ooh, it's a little toy boat. And I am not, I am not going to burn a little toy boat. I'm not a monster. I mean, some of these items are red, which leads me to believe that they probably do something. Also, I I guess we have to keep going. All right. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy. We are gonna get murdered to hell. Okay. But it's totally fine. Full steam ahead, baby. Full steam ahead. Ah, we're on fire again. Okay. I'm starting to understand. All right, keep keep going, keep going. Oh, baby, we're on fire again. All right, I'm gonna try keeping this this ship going. The sooner we get through this, the better. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Alright. Let's just let's just move through this as fast as we possibly can. Okay. There we go. All I care about is keeping the steam engines moving. It's all, it's all I can do. It's all I can do. Just keep going until it stops. Oh good, we actually made it through, okay. That's good. Keep that uh, steam engine burning, please. There we go. Alright, let's put that fire out now. And uh, alright, we've, uh, we've got that. There is, I noticed, a box at the end there. Yeah, okay. Let, let, let's do repairs now. This seems like a perfect time. Man, that was scary, wasn't it? We could have died. But we didn't, because we are too awesome to die. But not awesome enough to live, apparently. Alright, let's uh, start by... Start by repairing this to maximum repairedness. There we go. Then we'll repair the old wind sail. Excellent. 
Once that's taken care of, we will be able to return to... Oh look, there's a boat! How'd that boat get there? Is stuff getting thrown through the, uh, the geometry now? I mean, you know, that, that happens from time to time. Uh, drop that down there. Like that. Then, uh, just repair the stuff that needs repairing. There we go. There we are again. Oh. There we are. Little by little, the ship comes back together. Alright, that was also a, a pretty hard hit. So let's, uh... Whoop. Let's uh, go ahead whoop, and get our, uh, our toy boat back into its appropriate toy boat position. And also go grab this fuel thing here because we are in fact out of energy and we need more energy and... I'm, I'm really wondering how much farther we have to go here. How much farther could we possibly go? These are the questions. They don't have easy answers, that's for sure. Alright, so we just gently float along. There is also no way for us to get back again. Oh, oh, and down we go. Okay, that that, that scared me for a second. That it really seemed like we had just gone through a massive hole. Like a really big hole that we really did not want to go through. Oop. All right, so we've started the uh, the uh, the burning sensation right there. What does this do? Okay, that uh, is releasing some kind of liquid. All right, molten stuff that will hopefully not fall on my head. Okay, good, good. I want to move this over here or not. All right, hang on a second, hang on. My brain is piecing together the parts of the puzzle. All right, and then that gear has fallen out, which we can then take and bring over here. All right, but we want to move this over first. All right. Or in some kind of like old factory dealy thingy. Interesting. Now, what is going on here? Okay, then we just drop that in there. We've got a little bit of fuel, which we're going to need to power the fuel of a jigger over here with our crude oil, which is both crude and oil like. And we just boop that in there. And now, what's about to happen? This is about to happen. Okay, okay, cool. Something's, something's going on over there. Which has brought us over here, so we're back to our ship. All right. And there's another flower pot. If we really want another flower pot, which we may in fact want, let's, let's just turn on the old Hoovermatic and fly our way out of here, shall we? Nighttime again, and it's beautiful, isn't it? Beautifully beautiful, practically perfect in every way. Which is exactly what I like. Things that are practically perfect, that is. Alright. Again, I'm left with this question of like... I'm looking at the timer and it's definitely, we're, we're getting there, but... I don't want to go yet. Ooh, that's a lot of steam held up in reserve there, isn't it? That's good. No, no, don't go away, steam. I need you. Well, that's unfortunate. I can probably turn the old Hoovermatic off. I'll keep the flower pot there for now. We'll stick that in. All right. So we're getting on top of the uh, this climbing thing. There's a there's a technical name, isn't there, for like these kind of bridge type things, these elevators that uh, like move things from like levels of higher water to lower. I think they're called locks. Is that it? Does that sound right? Lock sound right? It sounds right to me. But I have been wrong about things before. Oh no, no! All that fuel. Ah, what the heck. 
I feel like I'm gonna miss an achievement for that. But, uh, oh well. It's okay. It's okay to miss an achievement in the interests of, uh... Oh, we need more fuel in this thing. Alright, we gotta rely on this, which is gonna set us on fire. Sometimes you gotta set things on fire in order to put the fire out. Also, turn on the Hoover again. We've, we're missing all kinds of valuable stuff. And I don't want to miss valuable stuff. Because that is generally bad, to miss valuable stuff. So we've got some more uh, stuff to repair over here. Oh, it also looks like we're slowing down. That's not good. Keep keep moving, keep moving. Full steam ahead, please. Oh dear. Come on, come on. A little bit more. Gotta burn the flower pot now. I didn't want to burn the flower pot, but you made me do this. The flower was actually worth a lot of power. That's interesting. Alright, we've almost made it 2,000 miles. That is crazy. I like it. Oh, oh, oh! Wind! The wind is back! And there's also snow. Which is pretty cool. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get going here. Full steam ahead! With the wind. Full, windy steam ahead. Alright, I like it. No, 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 don't, don't, don't turn off. Dang gummit. Oh, there's a, a geyser. Interesting. Ooh, that's beautiful. Alright, we'll set this on fire again. It's bad for us, but, uh... It's bad to do these things, but we want the fuel. Alright. Man. So joyous and triumphant. I like that. I like things that are both joyous and triumphant. They have a little power here as we go across these snowy wastes. Oh, no, no, no stop doing that. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I feel like the last step is gonna be to get like an upgraded, um... An upgraded sail. But time will tell on that one. Also, there's really nothing to hoover up here in... In space. Or in the snow, but you know, I'm gonna keep the old hoover engine going just in case. I mean, we are slowly burning power as a result of it, but if we manage to hoover up some useful fuel... Then that'll be all the better. Also, I can't help but notice that there is some snow building up here. And also, is that a phone booth? Might be. I don't think that's a phone booth. That is a house that is buried underwater. That's very ominous, actually. Very ominous indeed. Oh, oh, oh. Now the Hoover's going to prove its worth by hoovering up whatever that is. Voop. There we go. What is that? Like a barrel of something. I think it's something new. Let's check it out. It is... it's something, all right. We'll throw it in our collection of odds and ends that are interesting. One of every item, I say. That will get us somewhere, possibly, maybe. Whereas if we combine this with the engine, we might be able to go even faster. Especially with this hill... Hill coming up on us. So, uh, let, let's start building up some steam. So we can, uh, you know, go extra fast. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe that was a bad idea. Unless we're just gonna... Nope, we just blew right through it. And we hoovered up some more power, so... Life is good. More speed! Though I, I feel like we're about to come across another gameplay section here, like another puzzle to solve. That may have been a mistake, but on the other hand, this is beautiful. And... Oh no, there is definitely something coming up. 
Yeah. All right. Okay, and down. Down we go, I guess. There's never fuel box down there. Oh boy. Let's grab that fuel box because that'll be pretty useful. And also turn off the Hoovertron. Because, you know, we don't want to... We don't want to waste good power. There we go. No, no, turn it off. Turn it off. All right. It's like, where are we now? We're in, like, Siberia, basically. Exiled to Siberia. The... 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 The absolute embarrassment of being sent away to such a cold and frigid place that probably still doesn't compare to the cold, frigid wastes of Canada. But, I mean, who's... Uh, ooh, there's something... There's something there. You see that off to the side. Yeah, there's... There's something over there. I wonder if I missed my chance to get whatever that is. It feels like that could be like a side secret area or something. Or not. Okay. Right, where... Where are we going from here? And what are we doing? I mean, I can raise my sails, but uh, what what function does that really serve? Like, I feel like that's where we gotta go. Like, we gotta get up to there. But how do I get up there? Hmm. Hmm. Or do I just keep powering through this? Like, I gotta knock that little train thing off. Oh yeah, there we go. It's moving. Okay, alright. Maybe maybe I did miss a, a chance at something off to the side there, though. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Also, gonna put that over there. And uh, boop that in there. And uh, not boop that. We'll boop this in here as well. We'll hang this up here like that. Okay, now we can now we can move on. All right. And we also have another fuel barrel, which is good. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Oops. And yeah, we'll just we'll just leave that there. All right, but we're clearly trying to get that gear, that cog, turning again. Okay. Uh, color me intrigued. I mean, that's got a gear on it, so I've got to do something with the gear. Wow, these are actually. They're filling. Hmm. Alright, so that is open. I mean, there's not like a... I can't throw stuff. Oh, I also just noticed uh, right trigger. Did the game ever tell me this? Left trigger zooms in, right trigger zooms out. Maybe it did and I just didn't pay attention. All right, so I got to get a gear on that thing somehow. But how? Hmm. All right, so I mean we've we've got this. Okay, it doesn't doesn't go that far. Hmm. All right, so as we zoom in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. My brain has just had a brilliant idea. Like there's like steam coming off of uh, off of this, so maybe. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right, that wasn't so hard. All right. Okay. All right. I am I'm seeing where we're going with this. I think. Alright, now we hook the thingy-majiggy onto the other thingy-majiggy. 
also known as a Jiggy Mifingy, possibly. And then, okay, so we've got this. And then we pull it, because it's like a counterweight. All right. This will let us do something. I'm not quite sure what yet. Okay, all right, there's never... There we go, like I said, counterweight brings us back up. Got our sexy sails looking very sexy right there. Okay, can we, uh, is it, is it, is that it? Is it that simple? It can't be that simple, can it? Or is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I like it when life actually ends up being simple. That's, that's good. Yeah. Now that's sexy right there. Kind of wish I'd remembered to do it, or I'd figured this out in the first place. We probably could have got some, like, really good, uh, Thumbnail images with this extra zoom out. Oh, also something happened there. Oh, wait, why, why am I even using the engine? When we've got the wind! The wind is powering us. The wind, dear boy, the wind. All right, we're back out into the cold, frigid wasteland of Siberia here. Ominous. Ominous, good. I I like ominous. Getting somewhere. That's those little strings of the guitar there. Oh, this is actually a rail line. We actually are on the rail line now. Riding the railroad, the way God intended, the way man was meant to ride things. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool indeed. Also, the wind is dying off, so we're gonna need our... We're gonna need our engines again. So fire up the old steam -a jig Actually... Hmm. I'm again at one of those... Uh, those awkward impasses where I'm not sure if I want to... Uh, I should probably turn off the Hoover action there. Or I'm not entirely sure if I want to stop the episode yet. Or if I want to keep going. That's the one part about, uh, you know, when you don't, when you don't really know what you're getting yourself into here. You know, when you play something blind. I don't know how many episodes to divide something into. But, uh, I, I think we are good for now, so let's, uh, aha, there we go. Alright, there we go, now, now the joy is truly getting started here as we bounce. And ride. Ride the rails, baby. Ride the rails. There we go. Boingy. 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 Though I'll admit, I hope this section doesn't last too long because having to manually jump does wear itself out pretty quickly, actually. Oh, can I get, like, higher and get a real boingy? The answer is no. It doesn't really... Doesn't really work that way. Just little boingies, rapid boingies like this are the way to go. There we go. That's the boingy action I know and love. Oh, oh, oh. I'm seeing a gentle slope now. I'm also seeing a fuel tank there. Which tells me, before we move forward, we need, we need old Captain Hoovermatic to go do Captain Hoovermatic's job. There we go. Just to keep us on task here. Make sure we don't miss anything. You know, there's probably an achievement for picking up like every single piece of junk. Okay, looks like we're actually almost at the end of this. If that uh, is in the foreground, yes. Oh, okay. Intriguing. All right, can I go much farther than this? Because surely I'm not supposed to abandon my ship now. And we went from, this is really weird actually, we went from the snow-capped mountains to a desert. Wow, we're actually going really far away here. Okay, and that's the end of it. You know what? 
at the risk of this being like just like five seconds from the end, I think we're going to wrap our episode up here and come back again next time for what will probably definitely this time be the exciting conclusion of Far Lone Sales. So until then, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.